Hi viewers, today we are going to solve the equation which is 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30 and we are going to find the value of x. First of all, we write this equation as it is which is 8 to the power x plus 2 to the, 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Since we know that 8 can be written in the form of 2 times 2 times 2 and um, whole to the power x which is which will be in the form of the above equation plus 2 to the power 2 power x is equal to 30. Now here bases are same. So here's 1, 1 and 1. So powers will be added. So this becomes 2 to the power 3 whole to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Here we'll use the algebraic identity which is if a to the power m and whole to the power n that can also be equals to a to the power n whole to the power m means that if their power and again its power then both of these power can be interchanged to each other so this becomes this x will come to in the side of q3 so this become 2 to the power x whole to the power 3 plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. now in order to simplify this equation for its solution so we can let 2 to the power x is equal to y or you can take any or any form of variable in the place of y so this becomes y cube plus y is equal to 30 this 30 will comes to this side so this become y to q plus y minus 30 is equal to 0 since we know that 30 can be written in the form of 27 plus 3 and here is sign of negative so this become negative of 27 negative of 30 so this equation will be y cube plus y minus 27 minus 3 is equal to 0. now y cube will be same and y also be so 27 can be written in the form of 3 cube and minus 3 will be as it is is equal to 0. now 3 cube and y cube will be one sided and plus y and minus 3 will be as it is here is the algebraic formula which is if a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b in times a square plus a b plus b square we substitute this formula in the place of y cube minus 3 cube so this becomes y minus 3 times y cube plus 3 y plus 3 square plus y minus 3 that one is first term and that one is second term so y minus 3 is common in both of these terms so this becomes y minus 3 times y cube plus 3 y plus 9 plus 1 y cube y minus 3 will be as it is so this becomes a y minus 3 times y square plus 3 y plus 9 plus 1 is 10 is equal to 0 here are two cases the product of two terms is equal to zero means that any of one will be zero either one is this one is equal to zero or this one is equal to zero so y q y square plus 3y plus 10 is equal to zero or y minus 3 is equal to zero two and that will be three we'll solve the equation number three firstly so y minus 3 is equal to zero so minus 3 will goes to this side so this becomes y is equal to three now we are going to solve that one equation, equation number 2. That's a quadratic form of equation. Factorization isn't possible of this because the take plus 3. So we'll take here quadratic formula which is y is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 as a whole under root upon 2a. Here y a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to positive 10. We'll put the, all these values in the quadratic formula. So this becomes y is equal to 1 upon 2a minus 3 positive negative 3 square minus 4 into 1 into 10 whole square root. So y is equal to 1 upon 2 into 1 will be same and negative 3 positive negative into 3 square minus 4 into 10 will be minus 31 and whole square root will be as it is. That is the complex form of equation. So we, this is not valid because uh, here is 2 to the power x and we had let that that is equal to y so this is impossible to solve that we can't take that as a root so only y is equal to 3 is the answer we substitute y is equal to 3 in the our substitution which was 2 to the power x is equal to y and y is equal to 3 here y to the power x is equal to y and y is equal to 3 so 2 to the power x 
can be equal to 3. So 2 to the power x is equal to 3. We can take log on both sides in order to get value of x. So x will come to in the front of log 2. So x log 2 is equal to log 3 x will be as it is and uh, log 2 will be divided on other side or we can divide log 2 on both sides. So this can be equal to x is equal to log 3 upon 2 log 2. That's the answer of our equation. Thanks for watching.